Hello and welcome to another standard games video. Today we're taking a look at a red white burn deck featuring four copies of Tai Joaquin Perfect Shot as suggested and then voted on by my supporters on Patreon. This 2 mana 2 3 says whenever a source we control deals non combat damage to a creature equal to that creature's toughness, we get to draw a card. So using burn spells to not only go face, but now also maybe take out opposing creatures while drawing cards in the process is great. And then Tai can also pay X and tap. And now if a source we control would deal non-combat damage to a permanent or player this turn, it deals that much damage plus X instead. So in the very late game, if we have a lot of mana, we can now maybe upgrade a smaller burn spell to deal a lot more damage. But the real combo here is alongside and the festivities and tectonic hazard. These deal one damage to each opponent and each creature they control. Festivities also hits planeswalkers, so it's a little bit better even. But if we cast these while being able to pay additional mana with Taiwakin, we can now maybe deal two or three damage to each opposing creature, so that makes these a lot more impactful. And then we even get to draw a few cards in the process if the opponent's creatures line up toughness-wise. So that makes Taiwakin an awesome card against other creature decks, since now we can kind of play the control role and use our burn spells as removal. And once we draw enough cards, we can pull ahead and eventually burn the opponent out as well. And against a deck like Boros Convoke, we which does make quite a few 1-1s, one so End of Festivities and Hazard are already pretty good, but now with Taiwakin we can also take out even larger creatures, or maybe the opponent played a War Leader's Call to give their creatures plus 1 plus 1, now Taiwakin still ensures that we can deal with all their creatures nicely while drawing even more cards. So that's part of what this deck is built around. And then a Mechanized Warfare is another card that combines very well with End of Festivities and Hazard, as all our red sources now deal one additional damage to opposing permanents and to the opponent directly. So now End of Festivities deals two damage to the opponent while dealing two damage to all their creatures as well. And these of course also stack with multiples, so they get better the more we have. And then looking at the rest of our deck, we've got kind of your usual suspects. If we're playing white in a burn deck, we may as well play Lightning Helix alongside two copies of Lightning Strike. We've got Play with Fire at one mana. And then, of course, Swiss Spear and Kumano are kind of must-haves for any red aggro deck, especially the burn variety. And Kumano also plays quite well with Mechanized Warfare, as it can deal more damage with the first chapter now as well. And then I'm also a fan of Classic Flame Breather in this type of strategy, since it triggers off any non-creature spell, including enchantments like Kumano and the Mechanized Warfare. And then we get to deal one damage to each opponent whenever we cast a non-creature spell. So this also gets better if we have Mechanized Warfare in play, as it can maybe deal two damage with the trigger, and then as a 1-3 it can still maybe attack to deal more damage. And then a topping of our curve, two copies of Virtue of Courage, which of course can also be cast as a two mana burn spell, so it's just a slightly weaker lightning strike. But we can also cast the five mana enchantment if the game drags on, saying whenever a source we control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, we may exile that many cards from the top of our library, and we may play those cards this turn. So now if we use a burn spell to go upstairs, or even cast one of these to wipe the board, we incidentally still deal damage to the opponent, which will net us additional card advantage, and we can maybe string together a whole bunch of burn spells to win the game on the spot. So this can be a useful tool in those matchups that go a little bit longer, but if you don't want to spend the Mythic Wild card you can just easily play four copies of Lightning Strike. And then we also get to play with Restless Bivouac in our mana base as an extra creature threat. So this can also be very useful against control decks. Once they cast a sweeper to clear the board we can still maybe animate the Bivouac to deal those last points of damage. And then a big reason why Red White is now a viable aggro deck in Standard is the addition of Inspiring Vantage. So that makes our mana base a lot better without needing to play a bunch of uh, tapped lands or additional planes which make it hard to double spell our red cards. And then Battlefield Forged and a few copies of Sundown Pass. Don't want too many since these do enter tapped early. And then plenty of mountains and the channel lands offering a bit more utility as well. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play with a keepable hand. Got some good early pressure. Taiwakin to combo with Tectonic Hazard. And if the game drags out, maybe a Virtue of Courage. Opponent also on red aggro. Still gonna play Taiwakin, even though it might get struck by lightning. If it does not, we can maybe pull ahead. Their creature will enter with a plus one counter, so makes it a little harder to take out. It's gonna be Swiss Spear. So for one mana, Taiwakin is safe. 
And this looks like play with fire going face. Okay. So can uh, activate this for one and then virtue of courage the Swiss spear and then save hazard for later turn to maybe combo. Yeah, that seems reasonable. And then do it while the opponent's tapped out. And then a 1 2 is not going to block etching of Kumano, so may as well attack. Perfect, more creatures, that's what we like to see. So next turn we can hazard and take out both creatures. And then I guess we'll uh, play the Swiss Spear as well. Draw two cards. And now that we drew Kumano, I'll get the extra prowess trigger. Even though Bivouac could also enter into the equation. Bones at six. Can cast Virtue of Courage next turn as well. Although maybe too slow to matter in this game. Alright, play with Fire Goes Face. And our opponent explodes. Okay, next turn, I guess, with Courage, we can enable Prowess, and that's six damage. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got a fine hand. Swiss Spear into Flame Breather, Mechanized Warfare on three. And Helix to clear a path. Put on black green so far. And a bat's gonna have a look. Well, they can either take the card that removes the bats, or they can take our turn three play here of mechanized warfare. Takes the helix, and draw another warfare. So the next warfare we play will deal two damage with Flame Breather. Hoping our opponent doesn't have turn 3 Glissa, since that can destroy our enchantments. And we currently don't have an answer to it. Opponent's gonna cut down the Flame Breather, that's too bad. And find Kumano, so we can first play Mechanized Warfare. So that Kumano deals 3 damage when it enters. If they have another removal spell, we'll see it on the Swiss Spear. If not, this is an attack for five. But opponent's got to go for the throat. Okay, well, we're top decking. But double warfare can deal a lot of damage. Opponent's got a Sentinel. Pretty good too. And now Tectonic Hazard deals three, so we'll definitely deal with the bat. Helix can finish off Sentinel, or we can go face, dealing another five. Don't think I deal with the Sentinel, I'll just keep Helix in hand. And then if they animate the Cottage, that might also be worth taking out, since that can make food tokens to gain life. Or we can just go face if they don't animate it. If we top deck another burn spell, we could win next turn either way. So it's a close call here if they do go for a cottage. We also have a etching of Kumano coming in, which can trade for Sentinel at the very least. Sentinel starts out by attacking. And we'll see what's next. It's gonna be an Archfiend, okay. So I think we're just pointing this Helix upstairs. Now Etching wouldn't be able to attack into the Archfiend necessarily. So your opponent can't threaten lethal next turn with what they have in play. If they animate Cottage, they're attacking for 13. So 
We should have another two turns here to top deck. And Helix certainly will do it. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a Keeper. Could use an extra creature to go with Kumaino. But still fine to play it on turn one. Best case scenario, draw a creature next turn. And then Warfare plus End of Festivities can deal two damage to each creature. Although against Grixis, we may not uh, encounter too many of them. So, could be a tough matchup. No real early pressure. Alright, never mind. Maybe more of a Committing Crimes deck. So, could Lightning Helix that right now, or we can wait. Although, if they commit a crime, this will grow into a 3-3, so we won't be able to take it out with Warfare plus Festivities. So maybe it's safer to just do this now. And then go Mechanized Warfare, hit you for 3. And then if they play another 2-2, two -two, we'll be able to take it out this time. Grixis Callers, not known for having a ton of great answers to enchantments once on the battlefield. So we've got that going for us. And opponent with a Punisher. That will sadly survive my end of festivities. Could still play Swiss Spear, attack all out. Assuming our opponent just takes it. Especially if we go full control to represent an instant. Opponent takes it. And then I'll just play a tap land. And hang on to end the festivities to maybe combine with a different burn spell to finish off the Punisher. Might see a discard spell like a Deep Cavern Bat, which now takes end the festivities. But uh, as soon as we find a burn spell, we'll be able to potentially clear the board. Opponent also had to pay a life to enable this ability, so it wasn't free. And that's an awesome top deck. Tectonic Hazard, deal 2 to everything, get back, and the festivities, deal 2 once again, and attack for the win. Well, that's the power of Mechanized Warfare, enabling these 1 mana sorceries. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we're hoping to face a creature deck here with Taiwakin plus and the festivities. Seems worth it to just play Bivouac on 1. And then be able to play Tai on 2. And turn 3 potentially enhance or end the festivities. Riveteer's Overlook, not the land I was hoping to see. So we're putting likely on the Teamer Landfall ramp deck. Which uh, is not going to present too many creatures for Taiwakin, although who knows. An early Nissa Or the... Uh, 2 mana 1 3. The teamer deck capable of gaining a lot of life with Riveteer's Overlook. And yeah, there's the Aftermath Analyst. So we will be able to clear that here. I'll have to pay 2. There's an argument to maybe wait one more turn in case your opponent does play in this song curve. But we might draw more burn spells, and Lightning Helix is great here. So next turn. If our opponent does play Nissa, I get to double Swiss Spear and Lightning Helix. Maybe draw an extra card. Do have to watch out for Ill-Timed Explosion as their board wipe of choice. And our opponent going for Spelunking here. So not your typical Teamer ramp build. We found Mechanized Warfare, so now I like Swiss Spear into Warfare. So we keep one Swiss Spear in case of an ill-timed explosion next turn. And then we also can't forget about the Bivouac, which will come in handy once we run out of creatures. Shigeki, that's fine. And a Virtue of Courage. So we can play Swiss Spear. Use Virtue of Courage to take out Shigeki. Draw a card, attack, and maybe just Helix face at this point. That might be lethal, assuming no more interaction. 
All right, and our opponent explodes. So yeah, nice one against Team Ramp as well. Okay, we're on the play with a keepable hand. Play Bivouac on one, and then we can choose between Flame Breather or Taiwakin. Opponent also on an aggro deck. So maybe start with Flame Breather. See if they use a removal spell on it, and then there's a chance we can play Taiwakin and immediately draw a card if we draw a burn spell next turn. Double Swift Spear also an option, but it's going to be easier to deploy these one drops alongside my two mana creatures. Now, Flame Breather may not be the best blocker if our opponent can enable Prowess, but they cannot. So, we can essentially let them draw a card, or I can take two. How important is card advantage versus preserving our life total? Could also exile a card that the opponent doesn't want to cast, but those are not that common. Most cards our opponent will be able to play. I think I should still save two damage. And our opponent did find a Mishra's Foundry, so that's a good draw for them. Okay, we've got another Taiwakin, so... Can play one, and it's not a disaster if it gets removed. And now we're just waiting for our burn spells. Opponent playing both Arts of Swiss Spear. That's intriguing. And Taiwakin eats a Lightning Strike. So now I could double block Felden to take it out. And then I don't care about losing a Swiss Spear too much. We'll hit a mountain. Okay, so could try Taiwakin once again. Could also go Flame Breather, Kumano, and then next turn Tai will enter with a plus one counter. So it doesn't get struck by lightning. I think that's reasonable. And then I'll just play defense with a Flame Breather, I think. Bone's got a third Swiss Spear. And animates Foundry, so yeah, not the most impressive turn for them. Can double block either one of these creatures. If they're animating Foundry, it sort of implies that they have more lands in hand. Swiss Spear can be scary once they start enabling Prowess, although taking away a mana is still pretty useful. So I'll try this. And then it also leaves the creatures in play that we can maybe finish off with Ty if we find one of our sweepers. So that will pick up a counter, play Swiss Spear. And I'm still kind of into hanging back. Next turn. I might be able to finish off a Swiss Spear and draw a card and start to pull ahead. Yeah, maybe Swiss Spear can attack since that may not be the best blocker. Opponent's got another Foundry, makes sense. And attacks all out. Do we see Witch Stalker Frenzy maybe? No. Alright, so chances of them enabling Prowess twice are pretty realistic. So if I block with a Flame Breather, that might just die. But at the same time, we're also preventing 6 damage if that's the case, and I'm at 12. So I think I'll block like so. Keep Tewakin alive. Force them to fire off their burn spells right now, basically. And then, best case scenario, we draw End of Festivities to wipe their board next turn. Alright, just another Lightning Strike. Dealing with a Flame Breather instead of going face. So, only the one instant here. And we found a play with fire. Okay, so... I guess we can start with maybe a Virtue of Courage here. And see if our opponent's got a response. That works, so we get to draw. Luckily doesn't care about the creature getting exiled by etching, so that's not a nombo. And then play with fire. Draws another card. And 
Okay, and then can go to attackers. Maybe just leave Ty back on defense, get in for six, put our point to eight. Yeah, that seems fine. Since we have a backup Ty, it's not a disaster if this one trades. But yeah, I imagine our opponent's got a couple lines in hand, given how the game's gone. So they're going to discard and draw. Discarding a mountain. And our opponent explodes. Yeah, Taiwa Keen wreaking havoc on their board. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a keeper. We've got Hazard plus Taiwa Keen, so... Bring on those creature decks. And yeah, turn one novice inspector. I don't mind seeing. And a bunny corn. That one's a bit bigger. So we could play Ty. And then hope our opponent just plays more creatures next turn. And then Ty plus Hazard should be able to clear the board. Including maybe the bunny corn. Or I could Lightning Strike the bunny right now. Nah, eh, let's uh, go for the big play. Bunny Corn sort of incentivizes the opponent to add more to the board. And then we could deal 3 to everything. Ooh, Zvatic Glyph. Make that a 5-4. Fair enough. So in that case, I might be a little bit short. So instead I could activate Taiwa Keen. And then pay one mana to Lightning Helix the clue token, which will also shrink down the bunny corn. And we'll get to draw a card and gain three. And then next turn maybe Tectonic Hazard. Opponent hitting a counter spell. So not super effective here, but good to know about going forward. Inquisitor is acceptable. Good combo with the Zoetic Glyph, but that does allow them to keep up two mana now. Alright, so could start with Tectonic Hazard. Yeah, maybe start by paying one with Ty, cast Hazard. Or I could start with Lightning Strike the Bunny Corn, which they'll counter. And then I can Hazard to deal with Inspector and Inquisitor instead, which still shrinks down the Bunny Corn. That's potentially one approach. I uh, could also play Flame Breather, hope they counter that one, but if they don't, it's pretty awkward. Yeah, maybe we'll just Tectonic Hazard, and then if they counter this, I can still Lightning Strike the Bunny Corn. Alright, opponent does pull the trigger. And then now Lightning Strike deals with a bunny and draws a card. Now they can turn on the Incubator and hit me for five. But I'm hoping we can control their board next turn. Play with fire helps. So step one, play with fire the Inspector. Then I can pay one to play with fire the Phyrexian and draw another card. So I would have mana to play Flame Breather first. Well, this is pretty satisfying. Dealing with all their creatures while drawing cards. And a Mechanized Warfare is looking great too. Cryptic Codes, that's a problem. So the unblockable creature might get there next turn if we don't draw another burn spell. And that's not a burn spell. Alright, GG's. Can go Swiss Spear into Mechanized Warfare. Opponent's likely gonna jump with those Inquisitors. But then the Cryptic Coat will cross the finish line. Yep, 
yeah, if we had one more tectonic hazard or end of festivities, this would have been game. So their opponent trumps. Falls to six. And our opponent can attack back for lethal. GG's. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a promising hand. Got Swiss Spear, got Taiwakin, and a Tectonic Hazard. So we'd love to be up against a deck like Boros Convoke, as we can clear their creatures while drawing cards. Taiwakin loves nothing more than a bunch of goblin tokens. Alright, put in just a mono red aggro instead. So, mechanized warfare plus hazard can also maybe wipe their board if they answer Taiwakin. Although they're incentivized to play creature here. Okay, I'll uh, take three. And then we have options. Probably start with play with fire on codebreaker to draw a card. And then we can kind of reconsider. Alright, play time bivouac maybe. Next turn opponent will get etching, which is another creature that will get taken out by tectonic hazard plus warfare next turn. And Godric is fine. Okay, so wouldn't be able to Warfare plus Hazard to clear the board, but I can pay two, play Hazard, and deal with both creatures. Which seems worth it. Get to draw one card since only one creature had three toughness, but pick up Kumano, which we can still play. Points at 5, and next turn we should be able to close out the game. So yeah, Taiwakin proving to be quite the mirror breaker in the mono red matchup as well. Since we can afford to play defense while still drawing extra cards in the process. And then an unchecked Taiwakin setting up a one-sided board wipe with Tectonic Hazard. Or with End of Festivities is pretty nice. Godric forced to stay back. So can... Uh, Play Warfare, a Lightning Strike, either going face or clearing Godric. Actually should have played a Lightning Strike before playing Mechanized Warfare to draw the card of Taiwakin, since now we dealt 4 damage as opposed to 3, so sometimes gotta double check your sequencing, but of course it didn't matter here. Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, this is not the most impressive hand, missing Taiwakin, missing Mechanized Warfare, don't have one of our powerful one mana plays like Kumano or Swiss Spear to start out. But it is potentially still keepable, we have lands and spells, both are colors. So I'll try it and hope one damage is enough for now. Black, green, not exactly what we wanted to see, a mid-range deck with good removal, can deal with the Flame Breather, and end of festivities unlikely to deal with much besides maybe a deep cavern bat. So Flame Breather are gonna eat a removal spell. And we're not very well equipped to deal with something like a Shieldred if that were to show up next turn. Preacher at 4 toughness, also kind of a problem. Although it might be worth it to deploy a Mechanized Warfare now. And then next turn, Lightning Strike can deal with Preacher, as opposed to going Lightning Strike plus End of Festivities right now. But yeah, Shield Red's still a problem, and Black Green could have answers to enchantments. We also cannot really expect Taiwakin to survive. So yeah, this seems like a more difficult matchup, although we will be able to clear the board quite nicely at least. 
can either hazard plus end the festivities, or we can a lightning strike to finish off the preacher. Upside of uh, end the festivities here is that we can also play flame breather, so that's maybe worth it. And our opponent's now at 10, so yeah, it doesn't take too many more lightning strikes to end the game. There is also Restless Cottage, which can make food tokens. Opponent draws with a Dread Knight, so I imagine they have an answer to the Flame Breather. No, just replace the Dread Knight. And they have a cut down as well, fair enough. So it wouldn't be quite that easy to close out the game, although another Flame Breather. So I could Lightning Strike right now, although we'll still get the Flame Breather trigger even if they remove it. So we may as well wait and see. I guess the one potential drawback is if they have an instant speed answer to Mechanized Warfare, like maybe a Boseju, they can deny the extra damage it would provide. I think I pass. And then let them make the first move here. Since Lightning Strike could technically deal with a Restless Cottage as well. Although maybe better off going face. This lightning strike represents six damage. Opponent goes for a go for the throats. And another preacher. Virtue of courage will do it. 3 damage. And then the enchantment can also be pretty nice in a grindier matchup like this. So yeah, kind of surprised we still got there after opponent had some pretty good interaction and some creatures that are also harder for a red deck to handle. So showing some of the upside of the mechanized warfare build, allowing you to take a slightly more controlling role in some matchups while still having those explosive openings with Kumano and Swiss Spear that we're all used to. So yeah, I'm positively impressed by this red-white deck compared to your traditional mono-red. Gives you a bit more tools to fight the Boris Convoke matchup as well, but in general just has a bit more staying power than the all-out aggro decks that might be a bit more vulnerable to early interaction and life gain. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.